Mafia Yana, and welcome to your restorative rest practice. Today's practice is yoga for an evening wind down. So these are some great poses to get you in the mood to relax at the end of your busy day. We'll start by laying down on our back in a reclined twist. So making sure that you have some space to move, placing both knees up towards your belly, inhale, grabbing a hold, and exhaling out the mouth, lifting the head up off of the floor, compressing the belly as the chin rises towards the center of the chest. On the exhale, releasing the neck back down to the ground, grabbing a hold of both shins, Maybe you're even able to wrap one shin and then grab uh, the other forearm across, grabbing a hold of both elbows, really compressing the hips here. Slowly inhalation and on the exhalation, lifting the head up, exhaling it out the mouth, releasing all the air out. As you squeeze the chin up towards the knees, exhaling the head back down. Inhaling here, squeezing, compressing the belly, compressing the front of the thighs into the abdomen. Take one more deep inhalation here, and on the exhale, release, lifting the head up off of the floor. Squeezing out any of the stress from your day, and on the inhale, releasing the hands, releasing the arms out to the side and allowing the knees to move over towards the left side of the body. You can place your left hand on top of your right thighs. The toes could come back towards the hips if you'd like more of a stretch here, or you can move the feet out to a 90 degree angle. Looking up towards the ceiling to begin with, Inhaling deep into your chest. As you exhale, you can move your head over towards the right side, looking out towards your right arm. Allowing yourself to be anchored in the breath here. Anchored in the fullness of the breath, filling up the back of the heart, the back of the waist here. Extending through the fingertips. You might even move the right wrist around a little bit if the fingertips begin to get any uh, tingling or pins and needles sensation. It's a good sign that energy is being released down the meridian are clearing the energetic line of the arm when you get those pins and needles. So taking one more inhalation and on the exhale, releasing the grip, moving the arms back out to a T position and using the abdom abdomen, the abs, to move the knees back to the center. And on the exhale, knees come over, both knees come over to the right side of the body, grabbing a hold of the outer left thigh. On the exhale, inhale, trying to square the hips back to the center of the mat or surface you're lying on. Head can come up towards the sky. So with every inhalation, really settling the breath deep into the belly. Feeling that massage of the abdominal organs. And also with every exhalation, Seeing if you can square off the shoulders and allowing that left shoulder to uh, 
reach down back towards the ground if it's not already on there. On the exhale, you may even look over, bending the head so that you can look over the left shoulder out towards the left palm. Taking a nice deep inhalation in, inviting this fullness of the breath to massage the abdominals and the internal organs. Exhale, breathing out of the mouth. So here with this more releasing, restorative practice, at the end of the day, Really inviting in nice elongated inhales into the nose. And when you feel it necessary, exhaling or sighing out the mouth. Signals to the body, the nervous system that it's okay to relax. And opening both arms up to T position. Using the abdominals to bring the knees back up to center. Dropping the feet down onto the ground. Inhaling the right toe up into the air, grabbing hold of the back of the right thigh. If this is feeling good for you, you might even gently walk the left toes down onto the ground. Or if you feel like you've had enough here, you can keep that left leg bent. Just depends on where you want to go this evening. Flattening the foot, the right foot, so that it is pressing, imagining that it's pressing into the ceiling above you. Following the breath as it moves up from the base of the spine, fills up into the middle of the ribs, all the way up into the armpits, into the base of the neck. And on the exhale, following that breath as it releases all the way, the back of the neck moves down towards the ground, the ribs knit together, and extending the back of the heel even higher towards the ceiling or towards the sky. You might even take one more inhalation as you walk the hands up the back of the leg, making sure that you never are gripping or creating pressure on the back of the knee. But if you feel like walking the hands up the thigh, to past the knee, to the calf, you could even give the calf a squeeze here. Give yourself a little calf massage, walking your hands up and down the shins. And you might even use your thumbs to really press into the front side uh, along the shin bone. We have some great points here, acupressure points for uh, the spleen, liver meridian. So really um, using the compression of the hands on the thighs if it's available to you or the hands on the shin if it's available to you. One more deep inhalation here. Exhale, releasing, bending the right knee, pressing the right foot back into the ground. And then exhale, lifting the left heel up into the air, grabbing a hold of the back of the left thigh. Micro bend in the left knee here. You can point and flex the foot here for a second. Point on the inhalation. Exhale, extending the heel up. Inhale, toes up towards the ceiling. Exhaling the heel up, now pressing the imaginary, imagining that the heel is pressing into the ceiling. Raise the roof. You might walk the right toes down to straighten out that right leg if that is something available to you, or if you'd like to go deeper into this hamstring stretch, or feel free to keep 
the right knee bent and just focus on that extension through the back of the left hamstring. Squaring off the hips, breathing evenly into both hips. On the exhalation, perhaps walking the hands up the calf and doing that nice gentle calf squeeze as you move the hands up and down the calf or up and down the back of the leg, massaging the back of your thigh, the back of your leg, the back of your calf, and even using your thumb to massage along the left and right side of the shin, sliding the thumbs up that little divot, reaching some great acupuncture point, acupressure points. Still extending that heel up towards the sky. Deep, full inhalation, anchoring into the breath, into the present moment. Exhale, releasing out the mouth. Squaring off both hips, inhalation. And on the exhale, allowing the hands to slide back down the leg, bending the left heel, pressing it into the ground. Inhale, lifting the arms up above the head. We're going to come into an active bridge pose. Exhale, lifting both hips up off of the ground, evenly pressing into both heels. And on the inhalation, arms come down, buttocks come back down towards the floor. Exhale, the arms back down. Hips reach the floor. Inhaling the arms up, hips up off of the floor, pressing evenly into both heels as you reach that arms above the head. Breathing deep into your proud chest, the chin lifts up towards the sky, chest lifts up, and then on the exhale, releasing the hands down, rolling down the spine into the hips are the last thing to touch the ground. Beautiful. Let's try that again. Evenly inhaling, lifting, pressing into the heels. You might even lift the toes up off of the floor as you inhale the arms back. Full breath into the chest. Exhale. Pressing the left spine all the way into the ground. Hips release, then arms press into the ground. Toes release onto the ground. Inhale, pressing into the heels, lifting the hips, arching the heart up towards the sky as the arms reach above the head. Really pressing into the back of the heels, the back of the legs. One more deep inhalation here, lifting the head, the neck up towards the sky. Make sure the chin isn't pressing into the chest. Elongate it through the back of the neck, and on the exhale, shh, releasing the arms down, shh, rolling down, top, middle, lower spine touches the ground as the hands release onto the ground. Beautiful. Again, bending both knees, drawing them in towards the chest, releasing the lower back here. And taking it one step forward to when we began, exhaling the head up off of the floor. Shh, Compressing the lower back into the floor. Inhale, head back. Feel that full length of the spine on the floor and on the exhale, lifting the head and the chin up as you're really using the strength of the arms to draw you up towards the knees. Exhale, the head back down. Shoulders press into the back of the floor. Drawing the knees a little bit closer towards the belly. Maybe you're able to interlace the fingers here. And for your last exhalation, lifting the head, the shoulders up off of the floor. Looking down towards your belly button. Full exhalation. And inhale back and release. Fantastic. This time drawing the right leg up into the air, crisscrossing it over 
the left leg and grabbing a hold of the back of the left thigh for this figure four stretch. Squaring both the hips, rocking over from the right side of the hips to the left hip. Just rock and roll the lower back, making sure that it's really grounded into the lower back as well as this is, gives you a nice additional stretch in your hip flexors. Imagining both feet are pressing into a wall. You might even press the right elbow into the right thigh, squaring off those hips here as you rock back and forth from the right hip to the left hip. Really feeling this release in the back of the right thigh. And on the exhale, releasing both legs down on crisscrossing, arms come up to the sky, letting that settle in for a second. Take one inhalation in, into your chest, exhaling out the mouth and crisscrossing left leg over right thigh, inhaling the right knee up, bending, grabbing hold of the back of the right thigh, crisscrossing the fingertips. Inhale, drawing the knees in, Exhale, compressing, bending that left elbow, pressing it into the top of the left thigh. Squaring off both hips. And then rocking back and forth here, getting this nice bonus stretch in the back of the left thigh. Noticing what's happening with the breath. using this rock and roll from the right to the left hip to iron out the lower back onto the floor. On the inhalation, squeezing that right knee in a little bit further while you're pressing out with the strength of the left elbow onto the left inner thigh. One more deep inhalation here. Perhaps sighing it out. And on the exhale, releasing the grip. Both feet come down. Fantastic. And then rolling over onto your front side. Coming up into a sphinx pose. Pressing both feet equal weight into the ground. Hip width apart. Rotating the shoulders up and down and back. The elbows are underneath the shoulders. Inhale, pressing into the hands, really pushing the pelvis into the ground here to support the lower back. Exhale, looking over the left shoulder, back towards the left heel. And notice, are your feet splayed out to the side or can you tuck your heels so that they're reaching up towards the sky while you simultaneously press the hands into the floor. One more deep inhalation here. Beautiful, supported, strong breathing in to your beautiful chest. Exhaling, head back to center. Again, rotating the shoulders up and down and back. Breathing into your proud chest, looking over that right shoulder, back towards the right heel. Making sure both Tops of the feet are planted firmly into the ground while pressing the pelvis, equal hips, equal weight into both hips. Using the deep inhalation to massage the belly here. While firmly pressing into both palms of the hands. Head back to center. Beautiful. And on the exhale, coming up, bring the knees underneath you, 
We'll do a cat cow here from the elbow. So inhaling the chin up towards the sky and exhale, looking back towards the belly button. Breathing into the back of the heart here. We really get an extension in the back of the cervical spine and back of the neck. Inhale the chin and chest up. Tailbone rocks up towards the sky. On the exhalation, head comes down towards the floor, looking back towards the belly button, pressing in to the elbows in both hands. Pressing into the tops of the feet, inhaling the chin up, the chest up towards the sky. Breathing the heart forward between the hands, allowing the heart to reach forward towards the front of your mat. And on the exhale, compressing, looking back towards the belly button, breathing into the back of the heart here. While you're really pressing into the forearms. Beautiful. Okay, and then we'll walk the hands up. This time bringing the palms underneath the shoulders. And we'll try that same cat cow from this position and just notice how different that feels. Inhaling the chin up towards the sky. Having a more integrated opening in the front of the chest here. But still engaging through the front of the belly. Exhaling, tucking the tailbone under. For me, I don't feel as much of a stretch through the back of the neck. It's uh, it's a little different. Breathing into the back of the neck, it just hits different. And then exhaling, chin and chest up towards the sky. Then looking over the right shoulder towards the right tailbone, making a C curve on the right side of the body. Exhaling, left ear moves over left shoulder compressing left hip towards left shoulder on the right, left side, then back right side compressing, looking back towards the right tailbone, back to neutral, exhaling, left shoulder moves back towards left hip. And one more time, compressing on the right side, on the exhalation, inhale back to center and exhale. Beautiful. Back to neutral and then coming up onto your knees. In hero's pose, inhaling the arms up and then reaching the right hand down to the middle of the back and bringing the left hand behind you. This is where you might even want to use a sock or even grab onto the back of your shirt here to bring walking the hands one towards another. So the right fingertips might reach down and be able to grasp a hold of the left fingertips, or you could just um, walk the right fingertips down the center of your shirt and then walk the left fingertips up the back of your shirt towards each other. Into this nice heart opening pose, bringing the chin parallel to the floor. Inhaling nice and deep into the front of the heart, front of the chest. Tucking the tailbone under, making sure that the lower back is displayed out, that the tail is moving down towards the floor while you're extending both elbows open and wide. One more inhalation here. On the exhale, release, shake those arms out in front of you. Inhaling the left arm up into the sky, reaching the left hand down back to the center of the heart and then grasping around. The right hand comes to the middle of the back and walking that right hand up the center of the back down towards grasping the left fingertips. And this is where you really begin to notice with compassion the difference between the two sides of the body. 
or between the two shoulders, really. So for me on the left side, it could grasp, but on the right side, it's not even close. So still extending through the fingertips on every exhalation, walking the fingers a little bit further towards each other. Breathing into the center of the back of the heart, keeping those elbows nice and wide. Beautiful. Coming back to that deep inhalation, full exhalation, anchoring in the breath. On the exhale, releasing and letting go. Shaking that out. Fantastic. And then bringing your left foot down, placing the shin parallel to the front and uh, bringing the right foot down behind you. You can bring the right arm up into the air, cross it over, grasping a hold of the right thigh. Left arm moves to the center of the back. A seated twist here, looking over the left shoulder. Initiating the twist from the base of the spine to the center of the spine and all the way up then through the chin parallel to the floor. And the eyes are the last thing to come looking over the left shoulder. Inhaling the left arm back up into the air. Switching the legs, right shin comes parallel to the front of the mat, left leg moves behind you. Inhaling this left arm up into the air, crisscrossing, left arm across the front of the body, onto left shin. Inhaling the right arm up, back down behind, supporting behind the lower back. And then you can gently begin to twist from the base of the spine the middle of the ribs, across the chest, out through the neck until the eyes are the last thing to follow over the right shoulder, looking behind you. Full, deep, complete breath. And then on the exhale, releasing, allowing the both legs to come out in front of you for our final forward fold. Hashimotanasana is the ultimate evening wind down pose. So basically this forward fold, you can bring the feet as wide as the mat if you'd like to, keeping a little micro bend in the knees. And anytime we fold the body forward, bringing the heart down, uh, the head down parallel or below the heart, it's really signaling to the nervous system, it's time to chill out if you're not already chilling. So bringing the head forward, reaching the hands forward, you might grab a hold of the thighs, calves, perhaps ankles, or you might be very relaxed on your forward fold and be able to grasp your two pointer finger and middle finger around the big toe. On the inhale, extending up and forward. On the exhale, coming, extending out of the spine. Grounding deep into the hips, breathing into the back of the lumbar spine. With every inhalation, extending and elongating, making more space in the body with the breath. 
with every exhalation, allowing gravity to bring you a little closer forward to the thighs. As the exhalation allows gravity to do its work. Making sure to extend the chin forward, don't compress in the front side of the neck. Breathe into the back of your heart. Beautiful. One more full breath here. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely, using the strength of the arms perhaps to pull you a little further forward. And when you're feeling ready, coming up to sitting and back to lying on your back in your final resting or Shavasana pose. Arms reaching up towards the sky. Bring your hands in front of your forehead in Anjali Mudra, pressing the palms into your forehead, giving thanks for this opportunity to wind down and come into a place of equilibrium. You deserve it. Namaste and Ashe.